Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be lounge makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. So I'm here with my current beauty favorite products. It has been a while since I have shared with you guys all the products that I am loving. I have makeup, I have skincare, I have body products. I have been using so many new things and I really wanted to share them with you guys. Next week, stay tuned because I will be posting a video on all these new beauty products that I have been using and also loving, they're not quite beauty favorites just yet because I recently purchased them and I'm still trying them out. Some of course I love more than others, but I have done a little bit of shopping in the past few months, so I definitely wanted to share those with you guys, but there's just so many different products that I thought I would share with you guys in this video. My beauty favorites that I have been using already for a while, and then next week for my next video, I will be sharing all those new products that I have just been trying out that I am, you know, in the process of either falling in love with them or just really not loving them all that much. So stay tuned for that next week. For now, we better get started with my current beauty favorites. So the very first products I'm gonna start off with are some hair products from the brand Colleen Rothschild. The very first one is the Quench and Shine Restorative Shampoo. I have fallen in love with these hair products from Colleen Rothschild. This is already probably my third bottle of this shampoo. The scent is amazing. For some reason, all her hair products smell so, so good. And I'm really enjoying it. This is a really great shampoo. I can definitely tell the difference in my hair. It smells so good, but you can tell that it also keeps your hair nice and healthy and I have also been enjoying the Colleen Rothschild quench and shine restorative mask I recently just got a brand new one of these because a lot of the times both of these products are sold out so whenever I can get my hands on the shampoo I try to buy like two or three of them before they sell out again and then the conditioner just recently came back in stock again it feels so good on the hair you can definitely feel how it just kind of like repairs your hair. I get highlights in my hair and sometimes it gets pretty dry and you can always tell once you get these like color treatments, the toll that your hair takes from getting them and this kind of just like brings it back to life. The very first time I tried them was because I actually bought this Quench and Shine this is a Trial and Travel Essentials. So I remember I got a few of these from her, a few of the skincare products that she has and also a few of the you know, hair products that she has and I fell in love with the hair kit. So if you haven't tried them, this is a really good way of testing them out. So you get a few of them in this package. I just dropped the shampoo, but like you get the conditioner, you get um, the hair serum, which is also really, really good. And then you also get a Protect and Perfect Styling Cream, which I actually just bought the full size of this one. I mean, I just purchased it. I use it today and I'm really liking it. You also get a little scrunchie. And of course, you also get the shampoo. So this is how I first tried the Colleen Rothschild products. So I think this is also a really good idea and it comes in a really cute case. So if you haven't checked them out and you don't wanna go ahead and jump for the big products, even though like they're amazing and you're not gonna go wrong with them, um, you can always test out these little travel kits. See, I ended up buying another one of these because I think it's also really good for when you travel that you can just take them in these little sizes but really really enjoying these hair products from Colleen Rothschild. Dyson I have a few new hair products that I want to share the first one is the hair straightener this is the Corral hair straightener it has been a while that I have had my eye on this one but I really didn't want to like spend the money and getting it but I did get it during the Sephora sale and so I did take advantage of the 20% off back in April and I just really love it it is a little bit heavy but the fact that it just does not have a wire is like the whole big deal for me and I absolutely love it it leaves your hair looking very nice and sleek you really just need to like you know go through it once and it just works out I feel like I charge it after every use I could probably get maybe two uses from one full charge, but I kind of just don't take my chances. I pretty much just use it when it's like perfectly charged once and then I just put it back into the charging unit and then let it charge again before my next use. But it is just really, really convenient. It's just the fact that it just does not have the wires. And I think that, you know, it's supposed to be something a little bit better for your hair than a regular hair iron. And I just feel that I love how it leaves my hair and my, you know, when I go straight, it lasts a really long time. It just looks so nice and so sleek. Also from Dyson is the Dyson 
hair dryer and this is not a new product for me I've had the Dyson hair dryer already for many many years but I really wanted a new one so again I took advantage of the sale and I got this new hot pink color at Sephora as well also you know took advantage of the 20% off I feel like the Dyson hair dryer, you just cannot go wrong with the Dyson hair dryer. It is the best hair dryer. The one that I have, I still have. I might be giving it away to my sister, but I mean, it's lasted already over like four or five years, whereas other hair dryers, um, sometimes I have really nice hair dryers that probably cost you like a hundred and something dollars, and they kind of break down on me within the first year, year and a half. This one is more pricey, but it's better for your hair. It gives you a really quick blow dry, and and I just think it just lasts a really long time. I don't think any dryer out there right now can beat the Dyson. So I kind of wanted a new one. I had dropped mine and it kind of had a little bit of a crack in the um, in this little um, extension piece, which I could have also bought. You can also buy the parts, obviously, separate. But I just really fell in love with this color. I was actually kind of bummed because after the Sephora sale, the flat iron also came out in this really pretty hot pink color but it was already too late and then if i would have gotten it in the hot pink color i wouldn't have been able to take advantage of the 20 percent off and that's a big chunk of money that you do save so just wanted to share the new one and the new color i love it and um highly recommend if you haven't tried it and you feel like splurging on a nice blow dryer of course you don't need to go super expensive to get a really good dryer but i'm just really loving this one so much so the dryer came with this really beautiful blue like leather style case and i just love it i love navy blue and i just think it just looks so nice and it's so beautiful I just love how it came with this case included in the set that I bought. From the brand Naturium, I'm really enjoying the body washes. I especially like these two. The first one is the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. This is an oil to gel formula that intensely nourishes. I love using this one in the shower. It you know, it just feels, it's such a unique feel, that oil to gel type of thing. I love putting it on my legs, on my arms. It just looks so nice and luxurious in the shower. It just feels really, really good. And then this one is the Perfector Salicylic Acid Body Wash. This one, it smooths, softens, and renews for more even looking skin. This one is really, really great. Like if you have any little bumps on your skin that you wanna clear up, I also like to use it on my arm for the KP. And I just really have been enjoying it. It's just, they're very nice, body washes I also really love the packaging I think they look really beautiful in the shower another favorite body product from the brand lush is the magic crystals this is a shower scrub it says scrub your way to softness with Epsom salt and tingly fresh mint fusion I don't know how long this has been out but I discovered it you know I think earlier this year and I absolutely love it it's purple Oh my god it smells so good it smells so nice and minty this is already my third bottle that i have used i love it i love using it as a scrub on my arms on my legs just all over it leaves a nice little you know after you just feel so moisturized and it just feels so good and i mean this is my go-to probably my favorite like body scrub that is not really like a treatment it's just like a nice feeling you know like you know spa day type of thing for the bath like if you want to sit back and relax in your bathtub this is exactly what i use so i have a few skincare products that i am really enjoying from the brand glow recipe the very first one is the guava vitamin c dark spot serum this is my current vitamin c serum that i am using i use this in the morning and i have really been liking it because it also it's not only for like brightening it also helps with the any little dark spots that you may have especially like for me it would be you know if i like pop a pimple or if i press something on my face it turns a little bit dark and then this always helps to like bring it back to like the normal you know skin tone that i have so really really enjoying it and then this is my go-to hyaluronic acid serum this is a plump lump and i really really like it this one i've already had for a little while this is a second bottle i'm going through in this one the first time i I learned about this was with BoxyCharm. It came in one of my like Lux boxes and I loved it. So really enjoying these two serums from the Glow Recipe brand. From the brand Medic 8, this is my current go-to retinol. This is a Crystal Retinol 3. I actually mentioned this one in my empties video. I will go ahead and link to that video down below in case you guys haven't checked it out. This is my second bottle, but this is like the retinol, the best one that I have ever used. I mean, I really haven't tried that many. I think I've tried like three retinols and this is really the one that I have 
just felt that makes a huge difference in the skin my only complaint is that the packaging is a little bit annoying like when you first get it and sometimes in the middle of you using it you know the pump kind of just like doesn't work until you have to like pump it like 50 times for it to come back so that will be my only con i wish that they like you know improved the packaging especially the pump part i mean i do like the tube it just the pump just does not work very well but this is so good it also has a really nice scent it's like a peachy color but i've been using this every night i can use it every other night i probably can be get away with using it every single day but i do alternate with other serums but this is definitely a really good one i feel like it's also a really good one to start off with if you're a beginner this is they do have a lighter one. They have like different levels and this is the retinol 3. They have a retinol 6 and I think they have one that is actually even like softer than this one. I just went for the 3 because I had already been using the Sunday Riley retinol. Um, but this one, I saw it on Mixed Makeup on Susan Yara's channel and she used it and I loved it when I bought it. So I wanted to try something new. I went for it and I just did not disappoint. The brand Crave, this is the Gray Barrier Relief. This is a skin barrier repairing serum. And this one I just wanted to test out. It's like one of these that... You know, I saw on YouTube and it was pretty much like if your skin is out of whack and you want to repair that skin barrier because you have used so many different products, you know, you should try this. So I did try it. I bought it at a time where my skin was a little bit out of whack. I didn't know which serum to use. So I just kind of like stopped using everything and used this for a good three weeks. And I really felt the difference that my skin came back to normal. And it was just, you know, you just kind of goes back to a clean slate. So that when you start using new products, like this is like the one that I use when I don't know what else to do on my skin. So really, really enjoyed this one from the brand Crave. It's a really great serum. From the brand Tatcha, I'm really enjoying the Silk Sunscreen. This is a hydrating mineral shield. It has an niacinamide and hyaluronic acid SPF 50. For starters, the bottle is beautiful. Look how sleek the bottle is. It does bring 1.7 fluid ounces, which is obviously not that much product for, you know, something that is pretty pricey because it is a pricey sunscreen but it is really really good it definitely feels silky it has a tint to it so it doesn't leave like a, a white cast over your face it looks beautiful under makeup i just really enjoy applying it and that's what's important to me like if i'm enjoying applying the product i will make sure to use this on a daily basis so really loving the sunscreen from charlotte tilbury i have two products that i have really been enjoying the very first one is the charlotte beautiful skin foundation as soon as this product released i went out and bought it i use a shade for neutral i love it it feels so nice and natural it just it just feels like your skin but better it does give you that nice little dewy finish that i love and that is like my go-to type of look so really enjoying this and also i'm not really a setting spray person i don't really use them all that much but i had heard so many great things about the charlotte tilbury setting spray the airbrush flawless setting spray and I love it. I don't really like to like spray it all over my face. I kind of spray it into my sponge or beauty blender and then when I'm done with my makeup, I like to pat it on. Or if I do spray it, I tend to spray it like after I've already finished, you know, most of my face makeup but before I've applied like eyeliner and mascara. For some reason, I just don't like to apply it after. Um, but if I do, I'll do it with a sponge. But I'm really enjoying it. It like anything in my makeup that I'm not loving when I finish, like if I'm like, oh man, this looks a little bit cakey here, or this is like uh, creasing over here, I take this, I pat it on with a beauty blender and all that goes away. So I really, really love that. For makeup, I have become very obsessed with Dior's lip oil. They're very hard to get because they're always sold out, but I have really been enjoying these. They're so nice and unique. For these, I suggest like you go for the darker color so that you have a little bit of tint. My favorite one is definitely the berry color. This is the very first one that I got. It just feels so good and at first, I never liked those Lancome Shaker lip oils. I just did not like them. They didn't last at all. They were just very, you know, they just felt very slippery. These don't. These feel nice and they stick well. They don't feel like they're gonna just like melt all the way down your lips. And it just adds such a beautiful shine. It just feels so nice and nourishing to the lips. I love using it. This one I believe is a mahogany color. I don't have the little sticker fell off, but I'll make sure to list everything. And everything I mentioned, like usual, is going to be listed down below with the names. And then this is the clear one, even though it's already gone a little bit pink. 
from when I applied over lipsticks, but I love it. These are amazing on their own. They're also really good over lip colors, and I just, just doesn't, sh nothing shines as beautiful as these lip oils. From Lancome, I'm loving the Lash Idol Mascara. It's been a while since I have actually tested out a new mascara, and this one is a really nice one. It has kind of like a curved type of applicator like this, but the mascara is really good. It separates the lashes so nicely. It just, you know, I don't get the little flecks that fall down on your face by the end of the day. Really, really great, beautiful mascara. For lipstick, I have a luxury lipstick that I'm really enjoying and using so much from the brand Tom Ford. This one is called Pink Dust. It's a very fancy lipstick, but it is very beautiful. It's like a really pretty, I'm wearing it today. It's like a really pretty pinky nude type of color. This is my go-to type of shade and I'm really, really enjoying it. I love it. This is really the only Tom Ford lipstick that I have. I wanted to test one out and it did not disappoint in this color for me was perfect. From Natasha Denona, I am enjoying her Super Glow Highlighter. This is also the one that I am using today. This is the shade Light Medium. It is just such a beautiful highlighter. It just goes on so nice. I wouldn't say it's like, if I wanna go va 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 voom, I would probably go with my Persona in Zuma. This one is not really a daily one. I would say this is like right in between. It's like a little bit more like bam than like a daily highlighter but it's a little bit less than the zoom up from persona which is also one of my go-to's so i'm really liking it because i think you can use it like to go out you can also use a nice little light hand if you want to do it just for an everyday type of use but i'm really enjoying this natasha denona highlighter and last but not least is this palette from Viseart. This is like the perfect palette to have. You know, it has the perfect matte shades that you can use with every eye makeup. I actually got this for like a really good price with BoxyCharm. It is called, what is it? The Neutral Matte Palette. So this is what it looks like. And it just has everything. I really just, I use these the most, these colors here in the middle. It's what I'm using today. And all I pretty much add with this is like some sort of shimmery shade on the lid. But if you just need any type of matte combos, this would be like such a great palette to have. And then for the lid, I usually just take either my Charlotte Tilbury, the Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Shadow, and then I'll just pop some shimmery color with my finger on the lid that usually come like in those little individual type of eyeshadow pots. But this just works with everything. This is something that you can use with any eye makeup look just to bring your look together. And I just really, really love it. I feel like the only color I don't really use is the gray one right here, but everything else you can definitely use. But this row right here in the middle is definitely my go-to row. And those are the colors that I'm always reaching for. So that is pretty much it. These were my current beauty favorites. I think all these products are so, so good. I highly recommend it. I'm obsessed with them right now. Like I said earlier, everything will be listed in the description box down below. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.